Hello, this is Dr. Kirk at 3dtopic.com. Today we're going to talk about symmetry. And here's how it's useful. Let's see, I'm building something. I'll just create, well, I guess, a purple beast here. And you're making something. So I'm just going to make a semi-organic shape here. I'll add a mesh move on it. Start to break it down. I think I'll collapse all. Because I like having that geometry. F. Fours, F fives, so you can see the results of this. And there we go. Alright, so I want to bring this out a bit and start playing with it. So I'm just going to start to build a bit. Do some extrusions. Bring it out, bring it out again. That's fine. Maybe grab the edges, oh, it's the points actually, through the middle, selecting all the way through, stretching that in a bit, okay, and I think I'll bring the top part up a bit more, the polygons on the top, extrude that out, okay, so have some kind of arm or something come out, mainly from around this area over here, I'm just going to work very, very quickly. Oops, mistake. I just want to grab these. Let's just take this vertex. Can't handle it, have to adjust a little bit. I'm going to move this down a little and probably in a little. Okay. So I'll take this, make roughly some kind of shoulder. Ah, did it again. Here we go. Make some kind of shoulder. And I'll extrude that out. Or I can do an inset. I'll just do a quick extrusion. We're going to just a little bit, scale it way down, of course, flatten it a bit more, along one axis, and move it up where a shoulder would pretty much be. Now, I'm making this just very quickly, and just to show the symmetry, I'll take it out. Yeah, that'll work for now. Take it out, just do a couple of quick extrusions. And <laughs> let's go ahead and bring it up a bit. Extrude it a bit more. Okay, extrude it a bit more, size it down a bit. Alright, so I'm building this out here. Very, very quickly. Very rough. Kind of an arm shape, sort of, kind of. I'm not even going to make the hand, don't worry about that. Down like so. This is great. And let's give the base of the hand anyway. Okay, so we start to have some kind of basic shape here. Anytime you want, feel free to flatten that. Sometimes that helps. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. Actually, the palm, then let's separate out for the fingers. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to stop there for now, that's fine. Alright, so it has some kind of shape like this. And at the very top, I'll drop a mesh smooth on, get a quick overview. Feel free, of course, to add geometry. <laughs> looks awful. Feel free to add some geometry whenever you need to, and to play with it. Oh, that's terrible. So you're always going to go back and forth and keep playing with the points. Keep playing with the points. In this case, let's grab the top, move that up a little bit. 
take this whole section through here, scale that down. And you can always go back to the top of things and then to the mesh smooth. Okay, ridiculous, but we're starting to get something. Now, the thing is we have it on one side but not the other. So we have to use symmetry. Now, you can collapse things if you want to. I don't have much more polygons to work with. Or I can just drop things on top. So whatever you choose to do at this point is up to you. In other words, how you do the stack is pretty much your choice. I'll do a mesh smooth right on top of everything. I'm sorry, a symmetry right on top of everything. Where is it? There you go. And when I do this, I have to make sure I'm doing it right. First thing I want to check is the flip. Sometimes that can just set it. Like, obviously, <laughs> this doesn't work. You want to check the X, the Y, and the Z. Make sure you've got it. There it is. The flip worked instantly. Now, you can further modify it. Like the mirror down here, and you can pull it out. Oops, grab the wrong thing. Let's do a move. Well, let's grab the mirror. I got the skill. I can pull the mirror out, and I can create the symmetry wherever I want to. Now this is flipped. If I went back like so, and then did the flip, you see. So you can adjust it however you need to. That's this way. Of course, I want the other way. So I'll go ahead and flip it and bring this back. You can have this little symmetry or horns or something or as much symmetry as you want. And you can even put in a center section. That overlaps. It does overlap. If you get close enough, it kind of locks to it. In this case, I think I'll go with that. Now, if you go back to a base, you always want to end up on the top of your section. If you go back to one of the sub-objects here, say I want to work with the polygons or vertices, it'll snap right back. But anything I do to change, let's say I bring this up a little bit, anything I do to change will be reflected in the symmetry. So I can go ahead and play with it at this point. And if I change things out, it will absolutely be reflected. <laughs> it's going to look ridiculous in the symmetry. Okay, so you can see that it's going on and exactly what's happening. I just look a little better. Okay, so you keep playing with it and you don't have to collapse the symmetry right away. You can do that later on if you want, but you can keep everything fully editable and the symmetry on top, a mesh smooth underneath, and the editable poly right there is a very good approach to organic modeling. Have fun.